Hello again, everyone. Welcome to this edition of New Day Metery TV. I'm your host, Brett Canada, taking you on your journey through the world of mead and hard cider. We're here at uh, New Day Metery today, which is generally the studio for New Day Metery TV. And today's a big day for us. We're actually pressing our 2009 uh, hard cider, uh, pressing apples that we picked up yesterday, a big load of apples from Dowd's Orchard, David Dowd up in Wabash, Indiana. A um, uh, very nice small grower up there that, that's able to give us the type of apples that we really like to have to make hard cider. Uh, what I want to talk to you today about is uh, what it is about uh, what we do at New Day Meadery that makes our hard cider so good. And uh, primarily, uh, it comes down to apple varieties. Um, you know, we like to use old world style apples, and these are the types of apples that you won't find in the grocery store. Uh, you generally won't find at a lot of the orchards that are uh, even growing fruit for local sales. Uh, these are apples that are grown specifically to uh, be used for cider, uh, and not just fresh cider, but also hard cider. Uh, these are varieties that have character. They have sharpness, they have bitterness, they have tannins, they have acidity. Uh, things that you look for uh, when, you make, when you make hard cider are those, those categorical types of apples. So uh, let's take a look at some of these apples here. Uh, we have quite a few uh, yet to press, uh, but you can see all shapes, all sizes, all colors, uh, and that's really what, what makes... Um, our hard cider great. Um, you know the other thing is uh, we're making a still hard cider as opposed to a um, as opposed to a carbonated sparkling hard cider so it's really kind of my twist on an English style cider if you will. Uh, cider that is uh, still as opposed to sparkling um, it's dry as opposed to sweet uh, a lot of cider makers will actually add cane sugar uh, back to their cider which I don't do. Um, and the other thing is um, I don't add any acidity back uh, to, to the cider after it's done fermenting. A lot of ciders, if you look at the label, they'll, they'll have malic acid uh, as an ingredient on the cider, and that's to add acidity that generally isn't found in a lot of those bulk eating apples that cider makers are using. And I don't do that, so I don't have to add malic acid back. Basically, the apples give me all the tannins and astringency and, and tartness that I need to have to make a good cider. Uh, one of the key components that I like to throw in, and uh, kind of a secret secret sauce here, if you will, if I can get into it, uh, is actually crab apples. Uh, I really like to use crab apples. Crab apples, uh, you know, you can see they're definitely not uh, the world's prettiest apple. You know, holding one in my hand here, so they're very small. Uh, a lot of complexity, a lot of um, you know character that you generally don't don't find um, in uh, regular eating apples. And let me see. I think I've got another uh, crate accessible here on top. Yeah, this is a red variety, and David uh, grows a number of these uh, different varieties that uh, uh, you know are fun to use in cider. Uh, I want to show you one other apple here. I, I picked apart, picked out. Uh, I'm going to take a bite out of it here, just a second. This is uh, kind of the, the crazy stuff that you find when you work with good orchards. Um, here's an apple that uh, many of you probably wouldn't ever think of th that it even existed. Uh, I'm not even sure the name of this variety, but how many apples have you ever opened up that, that uh, have a red flesh? So. This is really cool. This is a tasty apple. It's a little bit more of a soft apple, um, but uh, a lot of character, a lot of personality. Uh, so how do we make the cider? We take these gorgeous apples. Uh, we run them through a hammer mill here, which um, I, can, I can run a lot of apples through there in short order. Uh, then from there, I put, uh, put the apples. You can see we've been working in here already today. I put the apples in a... Uh, press and uh, actually I've got a press load full here. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, turn that on for you and you can see what happens. Just a second here. Okay, we turn that uh, turn that bladder on and you can see 
Uh, should happen here momentarily. As that bladder expands on the inside there, uh, nice fresh pressed cider comes out. Uh, you know, it's almost a shame to dump, uh, to pitch yeast in, uh, in, in this fresh cider because it's the best, best tasting fresh cider that you've ever, you, you could ever imagine. So, uh, just wanted to talk to you a bit uh, uh, today about our heart, heart cider making process. And uh, as, as you can see, we've got a good, good press going here, lots of diversity in apples. And uh, remember that uh, here at New Day Meadery, uh, Tia and I are uh, you know, really changing the mead world one glass at a time. We're, re we're really putting a modern twist on a timeless tradition. So uh, till next time. Uh, keep, uh, keep trying new beverages out there and make sure that you include meat in that as well. So thanks. Take care. See ya.